It's late May 2023. The Boscanis multi-purpose support vessel Endeavour is approaching a 47-year-old ticking time bomb off the coast of war-torn Yemen. The floating storage and offloading vessel Safa is a single-hulled oil tanker with over 1.1 million barrels of oil on board. Due to the conflict in Yemen, no maintenance work has been done on the Safa since 2015. There's now a serious risk of a catastrophic explosion or oil leak, with potentially disastrous consequences for the environment and the humanitarian situation in the region. How disastrous? Back in 1989, the Exxon Valdez ran aground off the coast of Alaska with devastating environmental consequences. The Safa has more than four times as much oil on board. So the United Nations has asked Boscalis, through its subsidiary Smith Salvage, to remove the oil from the Safa and avert a catastrophe of unprecedented proportions. The complex job is about to begin in challenging conditions after two years of coordination and preparation. The endeavor was prepared for its departure to Yemen at the Boscales Yard in Rotterdam. During a stopover in Djibouti, the salvage crew boarded the endeavor and final preparations were made. On the 30th of May 2023, the dismantling of the time bomb began. After mooring the Endeavour alongside the Safa, the Salvas started their initial inspections. In the days that followed, a staircase was installed for easy access to the Safa, and inspections continued. In addition to the pipes, winches and manifolds, the salvers also assessed the condition of the pump and engine rooms. At the same time, inert gas was pumped into some of the Safa's oil-filled tanks to eliminate the risk of explosion due to the accumulation of flammable vapors inside the tanks. Diving inspections were carried out to assess the condition of the Safa's hull. Once all inspections on board and below the waterline had been completed, the necessary measures were taken to transfer the oil from the Safa to a new replacement tanker moored alongside. That mooring operation required meticulous preparation and coordination between the mooring master, the salvage master, the captains of both tankers, and the captains of the mobilized Smith Lemnalco tugs. Fenders were installed between the two vessels. The size of these huge fenders meant this was not a straightforward job. With the help of two tugs, the replacement tanker was positioned precisely alongside the Safa. As a precaution, oil screens were then installed around both tankers. 12 meter long hoses were connected to the manifolds of the Safa and the replacement tanker. A few days later, the time came for the pumping of the oil to begin. In an operation demanding plenty of muscle power, the valve was opened and the first litres of oil flowed into the replacement tanker. A memorable moment 
in temperatures of up to 50 degrees Celsius. 15 days later, the transfer of the 180 million litres of oil was safely completed. A huge environmental disaster had been prevented and the world could breathe easy again.